Our next exciting grow is brought to you by Pepsi, my new sponsor. Pepsi. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm kidding. You think Pepsi would sponsor me? <laughs> anyway, I do like my diet Pepsi. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take three different types of peas. I've got speckled pea here, I've got dun peas, and I've got dwarf sugar gray peas. And what I'm attempting to do is, uh, well, a couple different things. First, I want to find out which pea I like the best. I got speckled pea because uh, a lot of people have said they grow really tall, and I think I'd prefer a tall you know, less leafly, less tenderly type of pea. But I want it to be sweet first and foremost. So I anticipated this and I got five pounds of it. So I got a pound each of dun and uh, dwarf gray, dwarf sugar gray. Uh, but really, I'm gonna try to find out which one uh, does the best for me. And I'm gonna trial them in the same tree. I'm gonna put a third of the tray in this, a third and a third. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it uh, two different ways, too, um, I think. Uh, first, I'm going to grow them in the dark. And second, I'm going to grow them, once they come up, I'm going to put them in, in directly under the LEDs and watch them grow. And we'll just uh, see the difference between the two. So the first order of business is to soak the seed. All right, we have them in the sprouting jars, and this is just to soak them so I can... Uh, put a mild bleach solution and um, You know, I, I know some people say you don't have to bleach peas because they don't You know really have an issue, but I did find that I had a little bit of um, Mold on the my last grow. I'm not sure if that video is published yet by the time you see this, but I'm gonna do a wheat bleach solution anyway uh, Probably 1 to 15 or 1 to 20 something like that but anyway, here's the three different types, and one of these would be um, equivalent to uh, a third of two different trays. So if you add all three, a third, 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 it's one tray, and then that would be half of each one of them, then you put the other half in another tray. And I did have some flagging tape, I uh, just uh, sandwiched it in the lid here and wrote on there. And I can just take that and transfer it to the actual tray when I go to start growing. So that's the plan. We're going to soak them overnight. It's probably about 6 p.m., 5 or 6 p.m., uh, late afternoon, afternoon, early evening. These trays I got from Bootstrap Farmer, they're, they're heavy duty, first off. But they're also marked uh, with these little areas here, <clears throat> excuse me, little squares, obviously to put some little planters or something, but it, it serves as a good guide if you're doing uh, what I'm doing here, separating by seed. So I took, uh, as you can see here, I took two, plat two areas, uh, two of these little rows for each set of pea. And there you have it, I've marked them. It's a gray, dwarf gray. Uh, that's the speckled pea and that's the dun pea and they're packed in there. I was going to do two separate grows uh, But I'm not going to I'm going to use the blackout dome and I'm going to grow these three uh, in a blackout fashion and um, Just compare them see how they do They're a little denser than I would have liked because I didn't have enough to do a second grow and I thought I'd go ahead and use them anyway and so since they're not going to bush out, um, hopefully, since they're in the dark, then maybe a lot of them will come up, even the ones underneath. So we'll give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. And there's the pretty red blackout dome. <laughs> Block the sun out. This is literally the next morning. And they're already sprouting like crazy, all of them. I got this seed from True Leaf. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it has zero smell to it, and all of it, great germination. Look at them roots. The seeds I got from Todd Seeds smell. What, baby? 
Yeah, lots of seeds over there, huh? This is the three-pea shootout. And this is how they're growing right now. Complete darkness. The peas are looking really good. No sunlight. Out here rinsing off the peas. They look really beautiful, don't they? All three. Speckled. Done. And dwarf gray. All of them look really nice. So we're going to rinse them. Just a, uh, I've only had to do this one other time, but um, because they smell nice and they look nice, I don't see anything. So why rinse them unless, I guess, unless you need to. Probably be a good idea, preventative, but now that they're under the roots have grown like this, there's no way. Even uh, even though these haven't had sun, they're still pretty hardy. So uh, let me rinse them and uh, set them back in. I've always kind of wondered if stacking or weighing them down was really worth it. I've just kind of been doing it because other people are doing it. Um, I think probably with the sunflowers it's needed but uh, I can surely tell you it's not needed with peas. That's for sure. They're all uniformly growing, as you can see there. So uh, let me put the red blackout dome back on. Well, these peas are just mesmerizing. The color or lack of color, the uniformity, all the roots. I'm gonna just add nutrient today and uh, we'll rinse them again tomorrow. And I plan on keeping them under the dome until they reach pretty good height. I wasn't going to harvest today, but I am now. These things are absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And they're very, very thick, very, very long, and hardly no uh, tendrils or leaves on them. I think that I will put them under the lights to green up one day, actually. Changing my mind in the middle of the video. And that's because there's, there's next to nothing on each one of these. I bet they're really tender. Let's do a sample while we're here. These are dwarf grays. They're very fine. Um, you know, not much beef to them at all. Long, long, long. Hmm. Tastes like a pea. It's not overly sweet or anything. Let me try a speckled. Hmm. A stronger pea taste, but basically kind of the same. Is my camera focusing? I hope it is. Maybe it's just the colors of this stuff. Okay, let's taste the done here. They are very similar, all of them. There's not, there's definitely a pea taste, but there's, it's not screaming sugar, that's for sure. So, I'm going to, uh, there's a beginning of a tendril here on the grays. I'm going to let them green up until tomorrow, and then I'll harvest them tomorrow. They should be greener, a good bit greener, and maybe a little fluffier from the leaves popping out, but let's do that and see. All right, 
they have greened up for two days and uh, you can see the various done speckled and gray you can see the overall height of each one it looks like grays tallest to a done second and speckled last I always thought speckled were really tall but not according to my grow now once you look at the density of these peas and you would never I would never have thought that they could grow this densely so uh, yeah that's pretty cool and you kind of see on the top here they didn't really have time to do a lot of tendrils or anything they barely started popping out their leaves but we're gonna do a taste test with them slightly green now we'll start with the gray and we'll pull one out that is a good 10 to 12 inches tall. Not a whole lot on it. Let's give it a test. Well, it tastes like a pea. It's uh, pretty liquidy, surprisingly. Let's do a speckled. Hmm. Still tastes like a pea, but just a little bit different taste. And I really can't describe the subtlety of differences in pea taste. Because if you ask me individually, they taste like peas. <laughs> Alright, now they're done. Again, similar. They're all three really, really similar. None of them are like screaming sugar. There might be a ever so slight uh, sweet taste to them. So now what I'm gonna do is time to harvest them. This tray is heavy. And um, you can see the root system there is just pretty dang phenomenal, it's thick. So let me get to harvesting. Because they're in a no weed situation, I mean no soil, no medium, I can just rinse them right here. Just, I don't have to clean them after I harvest. Just rinse them right here and uh, put them in the tray and in the fridge. And if I use them, when I use them, just give them a light rinse before cooking. So I will put them here and let them enjoy this sunshine as they drain for about 30 minutes and then we'll do a harvest all right everybody this is a culmination of all that work this is the three different types of peas and let me look here yeah we've got uh, gray speckled and done they're covered up underneath here. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Because this is where we're going to keep the finished product anyway. We're going to set that on the side over here. And you can see the root mass here. And one thing when you grow no medium, you ain't. You got a secure thing there because the roots all congregate and intermingle underneath. So I think to expedite getting the peas out we're going to use the tool i used before to just scrape the roots and uh once we do that then hopefully the peas will come out a little easier all right Here's what they look like with the majority of them off. I'm going to set this here. And I'm going to put this. Maybe you can see it in the foreground here. Of the roots. And this is also a pristine product for composting, chicken, uh, chicken food. Uh, you could probably um, 
juice it or even make use it in a vegetable stock a lot of good fiber there so I've already done the taste test for you they more or less all taste the same to me my palate's not uh, strong enough I guess to tell the difference they are not sweet like a sugar snap pea would be like sweet sweet uh, I hear people refer to peas being sweet they may have an ever so slight sweet taste to them but really they just taste like peas and um, so we're gonna start uh, taking some of these out a little bit at a time and there's a mat of roots there's a mat of roots even on the inside so first thing I'm gonna do is cut them and this is the heaviest heaviest tray I've dealt with yet this is pretty dang heavy so let me set these aside this particular one and I'm going to actually kill the camera there's no point in watching me speed through this do all that cutting you've seen it before and uh, save a little video space a little editing and I'm just going to cut the product I'll put it in here then I'll bring you back and show you what the product looks like after okay hang, hang tight hey everybody I wanted to bring you in really close to show you first this top of my hand here is uh, about eight inches tall so even the uh, middle one speckled peas are eight to ten inches tall but I'm bringing in close here because if you do this for personal use this might be worth it you know you could take these individuals and you can pick them out pretty easily you see what I'm doing here and then you can take because they still have the peas attached here and you can kind of scooch them towards the very bottom and then just cut off the very bottom like that now they're already clean and now you have these beautiful uh, pieces that you know you could cook just for tonight uh, you know get you about three or four or five times this amount saute some or um, add to some dishes of some sort or put them on a hamburger whatever you guys do with microgreens um, that would be a good thing to do for personal use I mean if you're growing these for a business that's probably not the best idea but since I cut the roots off the bottom, you can see how easily uh, these things come out. And they're all clean, beautiful. This is the middle of the deck and the thickness part of it. There is no mold. There is nothing on these. It's absolutely gorgeous product. So like I said, yeah, just do that. Cut them off. That simple. That's a that's a good bit of product right there and that just a little bit of snip I did for you But um, I just wanted to tell you that if you wanted to grow some uh, For personal use, you know, you could When they start when they're about this tall you could start taking them and keeping them in the dark or Under some shade cloth so they don't get too green and too bushy and just take them as you need them for days on end uh, because This is harvest time, but they were good since they were this small so you've got five to seven days, eight days, who knows how much taller they would get if you had the ability to keep them dark and in a bigger uh, dome or something. So that's just a thought, just a suggestion. All right, here's the waste or the use in other areas, chickens, compost, worms, whatever. Uh, that's a good bit. That's a good heavy portion of it all. Um, but this is a product. This is a cut and finish product. I'm going to bag it now and just show you some of the cut ends down there. I'm going to bag it now and we're going to give it away and see what we got out of this. All right, here are the peas. We'll take a look. I tried to put the leafy end to the left and the stems to the right, make it a little easier uh, for uh, picking out later to do what we're going to do with it. Okay, but there you go. Let's come down here and turn the uh, weight scale on. Make sure it's zeroed out. Then we'll come back up here and see if we can get these 
And one little scoop. There we go. All right, what do we got? Wow. 4.46. That's four and a half pounds. That is four and a half pounds of peas. I am absolutely flabbergasted. That's the finished product. <laughs> Woo! Wow. I am beyond impressed. That's a 10 by 20 tray, you guys. And it's not touching anything over here or anything. Wow. Okay, everybody. This is Vet in Central Arkansas. So see you later. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> so good. Good for you.